you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. So we're going to go even further into this flat earth thing. We were talking in the previous video how all the dimensions are layered on top of each other going up the tree of life. So what we have is we have the black hole sun beneath us which causes the sun and the moon to spiral around uh, as the uh, over the event horizon as we see over here what's going on is that there's the black hole sun which causes the spiral like the drain going down a drain okay and as you're going down a drain there's also the kickback that they show you black holes having a kickback so it would be the astral light or the astraling light of the black hole that the spirit world lives on makes perfect sense now here in our little world over here shit rolls downhill see something's changed people we somebody pointed out i forget the name of the person but they put out they pointed out in the comment section we kings are now workings we have to work now because now we work kings <laughs> that's fucking great <laughs> that's great it's true it's true and shit rolls downhill. Everybody knows that. And you can see here, like, in Donkey Kong, you know, it looks like this. The CDs are stacked just like Donkey Kong. They show you. Donkey Kong. And shit rolls downhill. Okay? They show you this cosmic cow or something like that. They Indian people worship the cow or the bull. And I can see how that makes sense. And then you see we're the cosmic womb. We're here in the cosmic womb. Okay? Uh... You see the the bottom of the tree. I could see how these things could be viewed at, you know, from different peoples in different areas have different perspectives of this tree. Uh, I imagine in Kabbalah, it probably matches up to something like this, like what we were, like what I'm pointing out here. And no, I don't. I don't really get into all that. I've seen, uh, you know, you have to have somebody teach you that stuff. And I don't have a teacher. I could go and try and read as much as I can. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This grid that uh, that they show us, or they tell us, that we're, it's the grid iron that you're trapped on. And when the soul leaves its body, it's not trained to do anything but really just stand there and hope that somebody comes to save them. And... It's not that you immediately get birthed out of another womb or something. It's that you're standing there looking around and you can see a lot of stuff. For example, you can see the living and the dead. The living do what the living do and the dead do what the dead do. And then there's all kinds of other stuff around. And they show you in like um, R.I.P.I. Rest in Peace PD, you know, in Ghostbusters. They have technology to capture you. And they rub it in your fucking face. It's that they're laughing because you're chasing down your own soul in Pac-Man. And you're laughing and while you're watching Beetlejuice. And you can't see what's really going on here. There's a dual sun thing going on here. But it's the same sun. It's that a black hole is a light hole on one end. Okay. And it's like a loop. <laughs> if you can imagine that. But there's a kickback of astral light. And we're in like our own little, like they show you the Torah shape, we're in our own little bubble. It's like a little bubble. And all the planes of existence are stacked on, stacked on top of each other. So the, the archons are living between the CDs, if you can imagine that. In the spaces between the CDs, you have the ethereal plane, which is your internet connection is the ethernet connection. They're watching you through all your internet devices. The internet is conscious, it's clearly got a virus in it, and it makes sense that if you if you could get a, a view of this from the right perspective, then you could see that you're already in the afterlife already, okay? There's this chi or vril or cosmic, whatever energy you want to, that you want to call it, is, is running through creation, it's running through you right now. Uh, you can learn to harness it. You can do a lot of things, but you're not doing that.
because you're too busy. You're too busy. And you got to start off by planting some roots and building up. Like I say, you start out each day with one single minute devoted to building some energy simply in the palm of your hands that others refer to as chi or vil or whatever. You just stop for a minute when you wake up for one minute and you picture yourself here. There's a fire hose. Kick back energy from the black hole sun. It's running through creation and it's like fire hoses running up your feet, through your hands, out your eyes or whatever you want to direct it at. It's that you have this thing glowing around you because it's got to stop up at you and you're like a, uh, a dam. You dam it up. You dam up the flow and it builds up around you and you can harness it and you could do a lot of stuff with it. Um, what I recommend is that you start flicking your halos. Okay, if you can imagine a torus shape around you and that there's that spot above your head, it would be like a ring. You just flick it like it's like there's really that invisible field around you and it's green. Why do you think all the plants are green? I suspect that everything is green because this energy, like they show you in Futurama, the green energy underneath and the mutants are mutating because of this green energy. They're telling you that this energy is running through creation. It's the astral light that causes the creation. So that's why the black hole portion of this system is the creating portion of it because it provides the spiral for the sun to go around. Something seeped in and is either projecting the moon up there. There's really devices that are running around, flying around. And it's because it's not gravity, it's density. They're less dense than you. Gravity does not exist. Gravity was only created to explain why you weren't flying off the earth as it spun at, at a thousand miles an hour. That's clearly a flat earth plane. And you know what's crazy? Your parents, you ever... Oh, look, 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 people, this is, this is pretty crazy. So you're the demonstrator. You're the one that does the demonstrating. You, uh, if the place goes pandemonium, okay, the, the dimensions, ion demons, okay, the demiurge is probably a demon plague. And now take a look at this, people. It's that when you have children, it's like conjuring up little demons, okay? Because when they grow up, they're, you're going to help them give demonstrations at school. How was your demonstration today, son? <laughs> Listen, everything's fucked up. When I see the caduceus, what I see, <laughs> I see is a mother and a father coming together, creating a child. Okay? And uh, you can see this is 50-50. This is half of your mom, half of your dad came together to trap you here in this imaginary world. And it's like a battery, like they tell you it's a battery. Energy goes from one place to another place, and then there's the kickback, which is the ash-trailing light from the black hole sun that the astral world is living on. You understand? And this is pretty simple. But there's some pretty smart something, whatever it is, the archons, whatever fucking name you want to call it, is in this computer, and... And what they're trying to tell you is that uh, with these images is that they're coming after your fucking soul is what I'm telling you. That's what it means. So trying to envision this parents, they burn up the sheets having children, right? You're conjuring up a little demon. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But that's what you say. I burn up the sheets and you know, you have these rings, these satanic symbols and your ex and it's just crazy. You got a bun in the oven, right? You're just so cute. You're good enough to eat. Okay, then you go to church and you take your body of Christ and your blood of Christ and you practice your cannibal blood magic. <laughs> and your kids go to school to learn their magic spells. <laughs> this is a funny ass shit, people. It's that everybody you know is fucking retarded. You need to get to my channel and catch up on reality.